Hi everyone at Unique Kids, uh, welcome to today's activity. We'll just give it a few more minutes, I think, just until um, people get in. As soon as you're in the session, please comment in the comment section if that's okay. Um, we'll just give it a few more minutes and then see. I know we should have Rochelle and Maisie, maybe Amanda and Faye with us as well. So as soon as you're in, just message in the comments section on the left hand side, please. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much, Amanda. Are you both OK? Oh, hi, Rochelle. Brill. How is everyone today? Right, I think we're going to get started then. Um, so today we're making the rainbow binoculars. Um, I sent you a materials list and the activity as well yesterday. So I'm glad that you could make it to the day session as well, obviously, because I had to change it um, and reschedule a little bit. Oh, glad you're OK. Real Amanda, thank you. And thank you to both of you for joining the mark making workshop yesterday as well. And no, it was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, what I've got as well out here um, is a few crafts that we've made so since Christmas. So we've made things like the tissue box monsters, um, we've made the matchbox monsters, and then we've done some really cool drawings. Um, we made these bookmarks, the corner bookmarks that I really enjoy, and we've got our nature collage. This one was one of my favourites. We did the space one, which is really cool. Um, and then last week we made this. We made the underwater theatre, which was really great. Again, using recycled materials, different colours, um, different objects. Uh, today, obviously, we're making the binoculars. So for my materials list, I've got some tissue paper, some colour paper, or you can use card. And then I've got like a kitchen roll and a tissue paper roll. So again, I've just got a few of those. Um, and I've got pens, scissors, glue, some ribbon, and then anything to decorate. So things like sequins, pom-poms, some glitter. I've got some stickers as well. And then I've got some like crepe paper. Um, some strips that we can just attach to our um, creation as well so again you can use whatever materials you like as well so just be really creative with that and I'm gonna definitely go with the rainbow theme but again you can choose whatever colours you prefer as well and um, so as soon as you're in as well message in the comments section just so I know who we've got and I think we're gonna get started so if you've got some tissue paper rolls then you're okay if you've got to if you've got a kitchen towel then just cut it in half so I'm just going to flatten it in the centre a little bit, just so I can just cut it roughly in half with a pair of scissors. Now don't worry too much if it is a bit of a jagged edge, it will be, it will be fine. Now I've got some tape as well here, so I'm using some sellotape just to attach them together. Now you can also use um, glue if you like, but I think tape's just... An easy, an easy way to do it, I think. So I'm just going to cut a few strips. Now you can easy, either use cell tape or masking tape as well. So just bear that in mind. Let me know in the comments section as well what um, materials you're using as well. That would be really great. Now for me, I've got more of a collage kind of theme. And I have got a few coloured pens as well that I'm going to use. I'm going to get a few strips of tape, fairly long strips as well, I think, if that's okay. And we're going to get our two rolls, kind of hold them together um, on one side with our fingers. And then get the tape and just tape down into the centre and round. And then just keep doing that along the top and then we'll flip them over and we'll do the same again. Now the good thing with this tape is... 
it will be disguised by the colour paper or by whatever material we use to decorate. So the more tape we put on, the more secure it will be as well. So that is kind of what we're going for, I think. Now I'm going to make two of these. So I'm going to make two straight away and then decorate them at the same time. So again, if you'd like to do that, then, then go for it. Bit more tape to think as well. So I'm just rolling it off on the edge of the table. Um, and then I'm going to move on to the bottom as well. So we've got both sides, both secure. There we are. It's nice and sunny as well over here. So I'm actually not that cold either, which is good. <laughs> um, so again, you should feel it getting secure now because We've got tape on both sides so maybe you want to just put a little bit more on there we are and then maybe a bit more on the other side as well so again i'm just using that tape that i've already rolled off and um, if you both want me to slow down then just just let me know a bit but that's that'd be great and let me know what materials you're using as well because I am interested to know um, what colours and things you're using. So just push the tape together and then you should have something, something <laughs> like that. So there we are. Um, and then I'm going to focus on my other ones as well. So I'm going to do the same again. So rather than pushing it close together like this one, I'm going to keep these ones far apart. So then we've got two different sizes. So again, roll off some more tape. And because I've got two, I'm doing the activity in a way twice. So if you do need me to repeat anything, then watch what I'm doing the second time. I'm just going to roll off some more tape. And then again, hold them together and then push down on one side. And then do the same on the other bit. So you kind of want to go down into that groove, but not pushing together too much. And then that's how we'll get our two sides a bit more spaced out than the other one. Again, flip it over and do the same on the other side. And there we are. And I've got one more piece of tape here. And maybe two more bits and we can put those lengthways so we've got something like that and then we can place the tape just like that in the center push it together a little bit and then do the same on the other side with our other piece of tape there we are so now i've got two binoculars so now we're going to get our ribbon so i think we're going to make the cord that will go around our neck first um, and then we'll start decorating so again i've just got some ribbon you know christmas ribbon uh, black but again you can use whatever material you really want i guess some different colors as well so i'm going to get a pencil and i'm just going to push some holes through the two outer tubes so if i do it i'll just show you what i mean so just make sure it's right at the side because when they go around your neck we want the ribbon coming around the side of it so we've just put a little circle just to mark it off and then just push our pencil through and do the other one roughly in the same place if you can so again a little dot for the pencil and then push straight through and if i hold it to the camera you've got something you can see the little dot there something like that on both sides now have a go at doing that and i'm going to do the same on my other one because obviously i'm i'm doing two just drop my pencil on the floor um right okay so so again on the side so as the pet as the toilet rolls are kind of join together you want to do that hole right at the top there so just do a little pencil mark and then push straight through and it makes a bit of a popping noise as well um, and then you want the other one to line up roughly on that same side 
There we are. All right, is everyone okay with that as well? Are we okay with the first, first few stages? Just let me know in the comments section if that's okay. So now I've got my holes on both sides. I'm just gonna get some ribbon with my scissors and just think about how long you want the cord to be. So for me, I'm just gonna put it around my neck a little bit and I want the binoculars to dangle around about here. So I am thinking, About a meter's a meter's length. Oh, okay. Glad you're okay, Amanda. Thank you very much. Now with this activity, it's good because you can decorate them as well, however you want. So again, that's brilliant. Oh, thank you very much, Rochelle. All right, that's that's great. So now we've got our ribbon. We're just gonna push it through the outer. So we're just gonna push it through. Some sometimes the hole might be a little bit small that you've made so you can just fold the ribbon in half push it through and then it should come through here <laughs> there we are and then we're just going to tie it over the toilet roll so this is a really diy kind of way to make this craft as well which is which is great because in all these art sessions we've been focusing on using recycled materials and finding new ways to make art as well so again that's brilliant. I'm just going to triple knot it, I think. And then if you want, you can just trim off the excess with a pair of scissors. And then we're just going to do the same on the other side. Again, fold the ribbon a little bit in half. Push it from the outside inwards. And then just tie it over the top of that toilet roll. And now I'm going to do this activity, well, this process. Um, Again for my other one. And this activity is a fairly straightforward process, but it may take a bit more time to decorate and everything. Um, but again, you can just make a series of these. You can make as many as you want, trying out different patterns, different colours. Um, I think I'm going to go with stripes first, but again, trying out different materials as well. I mean, you don't have to use paper. Maybe think about other materials that you can use in replace of that. And then now I've got my little cord. So I think for my next one, I'm going to actually make that cord a little bit shorter. So try, if you want to make a few of these, then try and think about different ways you can change them up. So maybe make some that are a bit longer or a bit wider. So they're meant to go round your neck and then they'll dangle just there. So again, um, we'll do that again with my other one. So I'm just going to hold it out. So I said before about a metre, so I'm actually going to take off a bit of that. Maybe go for about here for my cord. So I'm just going to snip along the side and then we'll do again the same process. So the monoculars, we're going to hold upwards. We're going to get the ribbon and we're going to push from the outside in. Fold the ribbon over and then just tie tie a knot through there now you can either double knot it or triple knot it it really is up to you it's quite fiddly so make sure you leave yourself a little bit um of extra ribbon as well and don't tie it too tight because remember the tubes are only cardboard as well so we don't want to break our material and then you can again do the same process where you're snipping it off and you can actually do the same with this one because i don't think i did it with this one did i Oh no, I did. Yeah, you can just snip off the extra um, ribbon if you like as well. And then fold it in half and then do it again. So remember you're pushing from the outside in. And then just leave yourself enough ribbon over to tie it. And now double knotting will be fine. But for my other ones, I have actually tied it around three times. So it's really up to you. And then let's get it tied. There we are. And then snip off the extra ribbon. And then here are mine. So I've got one shorter and one slightly longer as well. So when that goes around, that'll come kind of just up here, which again seems quite practical. And you can kind of put them up. 
as well. So, so far we've got our rough designs for it and then now we can start decorating. So I'm going to do some stripes and I'll show you how I'm going to do mine. So I want to start with a red first, I think. So I'm going to do rainbow kind of colours. Probably not all in the right order, but here we go. And I'm just going to cut some fairly shortish kind of strips. Now, I'm not too sure if this will actually fully go around, so I'm just going to try it out, and then if not, we'll have to go lengthways. No. Right, okay, so when you're cutting your strips, make sure that you cut down this side instead. And then, that should be okay. Yeah, just cut lengthways. It doesn't matter if the stripes overlap either. Uh, that should be okay. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so cut down lengthways, and I'm going to cut a few strips, I think, to start with. So I'm going to go with my yellow next. Um, and then I've got some blue, some green. I've got some pink and some purple as well. So I'm just going to cut a few strips. 